Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect your JBL Authentics 200 speaker to Google Assistant. To do it, you'll need to use a phone, it can be either an Android phone or uh, iPhone, open Play Store or App Store and search for JBL One app. Then install it and wait for it to finish installing. And then press on open after it's installed. And I'm gonna show you how to connect to uh, the speaker and how to configure a Google Assistant accept uh, and uh, user agreement. Click on get started. Allow it to use location and allow to find devices. And after a short while, your JBL Authentics 200 will show up. Click on connect. And then it should play a sound. If it does, click on uh, the heart icon to confirm. Now, choose your Wi-Fi network and then enter its password. Press on connect. If the password is invalid, try entering it again. Okay. Now it will check for firmware, firmware, firmware updates. Then press on done. And you can set up Google Assistant. If you, uh, if you have already connected to the uh, speaker, you still can find uh, setting up Google Assistant in a speaker settings. So let's press on setup and now choose whether to connect to um, Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. I'm choosing Google Assistant, then press on continue, set up and now it gets you to Google Home uh, downloading. So install this app. This app works both on Android and iPhone, so you can configure your Google, uh, Google Assistant via an iPhone too. Then press on open and click on get started. Next, and allow it to send you notifications. Choose an account on which you want to uh, continue with Google Home app and now choose a home if you have already created it or add another home. I'm gonna add another home. Next, Select, uh, add a home nickname. Next, you can add home address or click on skip. Continue without address if you don't want to add the address. And now allow nearby devices. Next, allow. Allow no location. And it's looking for devices in your network. It is found. If it's found, click on yes. Then it will play a sound, it might play a sound, it does, so press on the yes to confirm that you have heard the sound, to confirm that it's the correct speaker, and uh, you can also enable sharing device stats with Google, choose where is the device, 
and now it's connecting. Then press on Next. To configure your Google Assistant. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. Now choose what you, uh, what do you want to set up. Next. Uh, press on next. Next. You can link uh, YouTube Music, Spotify, or Apple Music. Next. You can uh, sign up for uh, offers or click on no thanks. And then click on continue. Continue. And you can ask questions by starting with Hey Google. And now I'm gonna show you how to use it. Let me just finish configuring OK. And here on the speaker first make sure that on the back of your speaker the microphone for Google Assistant is enabled. If it's dis disabled it also displays a red uh, diode on the front of your display but you can enable it back again and then let me show you the front of the speaker. You can ask Google Assistant questions by saying, hey Google. Hey Google, tell us a joke. What do you call a shoe made out of a banana? A slipper. You can see that it works and when I ask it a question, it lights up white. Hey Google, what day is, is, is it? It's Wednesday, July 24th, 2024. And it works. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.